Welcome to the channel. Today I want to tell you about the movie, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Watch out for spoilers. What madness is this? The movie begins with a terrible criminal, Ogre, being brought to Revel's End, an Arctic prison. He is brought into a cell with two buddies, former bard Edgin Darvies and barbarian Holga Kilgore. Ogre harasses Holga, but is rebuffed vigorously. There is a clemency session tomorrow, and they have a chance to get out. Edgin and Holga are in jail for theft and the council is ready to hear if they are worthy of a pardon. Before his imprisonment, Bard Edgin Darvies served as a member of the Harpers, an order of peacemakers, until the disciples of the Red Wizard he arrested killed his wife. Accompanied by the barbarian Holga Kilgore, Edgin tried to start a new life for himself and his daughter Kira by turning to theft. Teaming up with amateur sorcerer Simon Omar, Rogue Forge Fitzwilliam, and Forge's mysterious acquaintance Safina. During a raid on the Harper Citadel, E.G. In tried to steal the artifact of Awakening to resurrect his wife, but he and Holga were captured and their accomplices escaped. A tardy counselor arrives and Edgin and Holga use him to get out, though the counselor pardons them. With the counselor's help, they successfully escape. Edgin does not find Kira, but he does find his instrument. They guess where Kira and Forge are, and learn that Forge has become Lord Neverwinter. They get to the town where the games will take place. Edgin meets his daughter, but Kira is cold to her father. They are met by Forge, now he is rich. They lie about being pardoned. Forge takes care of Kira, convincing her that Edgin's selfish greed led to his arrest. Safina, who put them in jail, is now Forge's counselor. Edgin explains that he wanted his mother back with the artifact, but Forge lied to Kira and she doesn't believe Edgin. Plus Forge knew they escaped. Forge originally intended to betray them and orders them sent to the dungeon, but Safina orders them killed. They are prepared to be beheaded, Holga distracts the guard, Holga beats everyone and they are set free. Forge lies to Kira that he gave Edgin the artifact and he's gone. They decide to rob Forge's vault and bring Kira home for the upcoming High Sun games and resurrect Kira's mother, proving that Edgin didn't lie to her, but they need a team. Sorcerer friend Simon takes up stealing by distracting people with a performance, but he gets caught and struggles to get out with Edgin and Holga. Simon agrees to help. He also offers to hire Doric, a druid whose forest community is fighting forced deforestation. Doric knows how to transform herself into different animals. She only agrees to help them because she hates Forge and wants to stop him. Having transformed into a fly, Doric infiltrates Forge's castle and discovers that Mordenkainen's magical protection is in the vault. Safina discovers Doric, with great difficulty she makes her way out of town. Simon cannot disable the seal on the vault. Simon suggests that only the magical relic helmet of disconnection will help break the seal, but it is lost. Holga tells her tribe's ancestors fought for this helmet and Simon can summon the dead to find out. They go to an old cemetery to ask Holga's ancestors where to find the relic. They will only have five questions, after which the dead man dies forever. Simon resurrects the dead man, but because of stupid questions, they don't learn anything. They resurrect the others and end up finding out that they gave the helmet to Zenk Yandar. They meet with Zenk, finding out their plan he agrees to help, but only if E.G. In swears to give people any reward they have received and Ejin swears. The helmet is found in the dungeon where Zenk takes them. They go down, Edgin does not trust Zenk, but he hears everything. They get to the bridge, but Simon accidentally destroys it. Luckily they are aided by a teleportation staff, obtained from Holga's ex-husband. They find the helmet, but are attacked by assassins sent by Safina. Zenk fights off the assassins, but they are immortal and the group escapes. A dragon appears, which is very thick. The dragon chases them and at the last moment gets out. Zank says goodbye and leaves. Simon needs his helmet acted upon, he meets the ancestor. The ancestor thinks Simon is unworthy and the next attempts are unsuccessful. Everyone is angry at Edgin, he tells them it was his fault his wife died, he stole the gold and the sorcerers took their revenge. Edgin's candor helps, 
they decide to use the staff to enter the vault during the games. They activate a portal in the painting and place it in the treasure carriage. The painting is brought into the vault, but it falls down. They return to the first plan, Simon tries to use the helmet again. Edwin's hologram distracts the guards, but something goes wrong and they run away. Holga fights off the guards. Simon hits the ancestor, and it helps activate the helmet. Simon and Holga get through the magic sealed door, but find the room empty except for the magic trap. Edgin finds Kira, but it turns out to be Safina, who catches him. The group will now engage in death games. The teams need to get to the center of the maze while the beasts chase them. They get to the center, but Edgin realizes that's not an option. Doric has a plan. They jump into an acid cube that goes down and Doric pulls them out. Forge fills the ship with gold to sail away with Kira. Kira learns the whole truth about Forge, but he grabs her. Holga saves Kira and they steal a boat to sail away. When they escape, the group realizes that Safina has organized games to gather a huge crowd and turn them into an army of undead using a curse, so they return to save the city. Using a portal, they distribute gold to the inhabitants, thus the crowd leaves the stadium and Safina's curse is not triggered. Enraged at her defeat, Safina attacks the group. She stops time, but Simon manages to master his magic and undo Safina's time-stopping spell, allowing Kira to use her invisible pendant to put an anti-magic bracelet on Safina and Doric kills her. Holga is mortally wounded and dies. Edgin uses the artifact to bring her back to life, admitting that he only wanted his wife back for himself, while Holga has become a real part of their family. Freed from the curse, the old lord of Neverwinter declares the team heroes of the realm. Zank sends Forge to prison, from which he clearly does not escape as Edgin and Holga did. This is where the movie, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, ends. A very interesting fantasy story with humor. Thanks for watching and good luck.